Okay, down here, back again. I had no idea my camera quit. Don't know when, so I didn't take time to go see when or what was happening last. So uh, I guess I'll do a little. I went and got my clamps. I don't know if I that was on the video, but I've got my nails in here. Uh, I did good on the top one, but the one closer to the down here split on both of them. And I nearly covered my tripod. Okay, caught it on the power cable. I have to plug the camera in or it'll run out of battery juice. Okay, two nails there, but it did split a little bit. I put some glue under one of them. The other one I didn't even notice it. And I don't want to split it out more just to try to get glue in there. So whatever glue is in that joint hopefully will help a little bit. This thing I guess is on its last repair, I would say. I put some glue in each corner. When I'm a, I, it wasn't completely broke loose, so I only put it in a tiny bit of the corner. This one, I got glue pretty much all the way up and down there. So now I'm going to put my clamps in. <coughs> my big long wood clamps on there long ways. I'm trying to uh, have a drink. <coughs> Let it set up. I always try to keep a watch on the cameras, but as soon as you get it going good, you think everything is just fine. That's when they quit on you. So, I guess that's how it goes in the video world. But she's not real cameras using phones with cameras. But I guess, you know, it happened. I, you know, I like to watch uh, how-to YouTube videos a lot, and uh, I see it happening every day, no matter what kind of camera they use. So, uh, actually, it seems like I have better luck, although I did a live stream last night uh, working on the computer, and it ended up being almost four hours, and I kept checking my live stream, and it was all good the whole time, and then the day the video wasn't good, but I record a backup video so I was uploading that. That's one reason why I came out here to go ahead and do this. Because I, I was going to continue work, working on that computer so here's my, you can tell my clamps are a bit long. Uh, I was going to continue working on that computer but this broke and my dinner tray broke and uh, I need it fixed. And I uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will put the, I started to put this light one in the back, but I think I'll put the heavy one in the back. I only have the two. And this heavy one tends to the jaw is, is real crooked when you get it once you get it to clean it. This thing down on this end. I might have to put, I'm going to go ahead and put my wood block in there. Like that, I think. It should be like that. No, it needs to be like that. Yeah, and then it'll probably get more even pressure. Yeah. This is good on a turn these days, too. Go back it all the way, almost all the way up. This seems to have a little bit of voodoo can on it from the last time I used it and irritated it. But I remember fighting and fighting with it to get it to be turning, 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 and it won't ever grab. So let's see what it does. I think it's doing that to me again. But to get that thing. Jack in there just right in the ground. What's that hammer? Maybe if I tap on it. There, I'll get it to be in there. Yeah, it started grabbing now. There we go. Pressure's right on the end of that. 
Now this end stays straight, and that end's really crooked, but my block of wood is getting, making that pressure be right where I want it. I think I'll be all right with that. Okay, I want it. This other one, I think, is a lot shorter of a handle. No, no, it's not. That's a lot longer of a clamp. I think it grabs pretty good and it stays fairly straight. So. It's got a spring on it. I think I thought it was. Oh, it is hitting my ladder. Yeah. There. There's just a couple of things up under that ladder that get some wind. There. I couldn't raise it up even just a quarter inch because it was hanging on the cardboard and everything. Okay, now. I think I won't put it all the way up to the pipe because I think it'll grab better if I get on it. I don't think they're, ne they're never completely screwed. Right up in the jaws. Actually, I think right up in the jaws would be better in this case. Yeah, I think so. They tend to do more pressure out here than they do up by the pipe. This is actually pretty thin. Flexible wood, so I can get it. Do what I want. And these things are long enough that you gotta watch out. You gotta have it away from the garage door so it can open and close. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Now what else I would like is what I can't do. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you can see it. What else I would like to do, what I can't do, is clamp this away. I mean, if, I don't even have another clamp that long, but if I did, you know, well, I could probably put it on that side of the pipes, and that would probably do that. It wouldn't put pressure where those where those nails split the wood out a little bit. But that should make it be sturdy. And those places that are sticking up from the nails, I will probably just end up sending them down flat. And uh, if they start falling out, I'll put some wood putty in them later. Uh, put some glue and uh, put some glue and put them back in there. If they actually fall out and I don't lose them, I'll put some glue in the crack and then put them back in there. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, maybe I've got it before it will hold together and be usable again. That's the main thing, of course. It's something that's usable. It's not just a pretty picture frame. It's something to use. And if you haven't seen it, if you don't know what this thing is, it is a uh, breakfast in bed tray, a lap tray, uh, what's the column? Anyway. I put my TV dinners on it and take it in and set it at the computer to eat or in the morning I have breakfast in bed. <laughs> I make my breakfast, go back in there and set up in the bed and eat. And I don't know how long I've had this thing. I can't say it didn't last long enough. This third time I believe I've had to work on it. But, um, it's, uh, I think I've had it since around 2000. Maybe even like before that, two, three, four years, I don't remember anymore. It was a gift. My mom gave it to me. But, uh, I'm gonna light it out so I can see. It bl when I look towards it, it blinds me completely. Okay. Well, I'm actually finished. And that's not medicine, that's, uh, Q tips. I thought I might use them for wiping uh, that glue. <laughs> but, uh, silly. Silly me, all the blue I had going everywhere. It wasn't that bad, actually, but it was way more than what Q-tip was going to do for me. Although it might have helped right down there in that crack. Can't see, and I'm not going to pick up on it. This clamp, you can have it really tight, but sometimes it will let go when you, when you start picking up on it. When it, twi when it twists, this one usually has stays. But this is all I ever gathered up. I used to be a cabinet maker, and you know how many clamps it takes to build a set of cabinets? Especially, well, back in the old days, we glued all of our face frames our styles together 
Later on, we had a, a face fan machine and you screwed them together from the back. You drilled angled holes and screwed them together from the back. But we used to we used to uh, clamp up every joint and then toenail it with nails with the nail gun. And so, got a lot of gluing over the years, back in the late in the seventies, late seventies, and throughout the eighties, most of the eighties, when I did all that when I was a cabinet maker. But um, but I got we had bar clamps. We didn't have these little pipe clamps. They're a little harder to work with. I used pipe clamps in in, in high school in workshop. I took the workshop in high school. And we had pipe clamps in there. Anyway, you buy the, the clamp and then you get you some pipe and put it, put it on the pipe. And uh, so it's way cheaper than a bar clamp. That's for sure. But they're still not super cheap. And these weren't high dollar ones either. They were. I don't even think they were made in China or they wouldn't have lasted all these years because I've had these since the 70s. And I had one and then I got, I got this one and then I got this one. But I never managed to get more. And I managed to do what I had for all these years. What did I do with my wood thing? I thought I'd be using it and I had it. Oh, it's over there. I got it kind of half out. I have one of those screw wood clamps and some C clamps. But anyway, um, that is it. That's going to set up until tomorrow. And it's hot weather, so it'll be dry by tomorrow afternoon. And then here, I go tomorrow. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it was 4.45 a.m. when I came out here. And I bet I've been working for two hours now. So, it could be longer. so uh, maybe it hadn't been quite that long. Maybe it's been an hour. I don't know. It felt a long time. But anyway, uh, so a little dry all day, and then by the, when I get up to this evening, I might, I don't know, well, I'm going to have to eat, I can feel that I'm getting really hungry. I wanted to get back on my, uh, yesterday I was working on this computer, that I was given four computers, two of them pinning threes, and one of them pinning four, and the other one's either a cell one, D, they're all single core, you know. The other one may be a pinning four, I don't know, I haven't started up yet, but I don't want to run in yesterday, but the hard drive is bad, and, uh, uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to do, is go back to making work, you know, working on that and doing my video, but maybe I don't have any time in this day, maybe this night, I got my schedule off, I want to be up, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll be able to be up like at 3 in the morning or 4 and then get myself together and eat and then go outside and work on my blazer and even work on the carburetor, my Chevy blazer, 4x4 truck. So anyway, that's it. Um, uh, keep going. And I always kind of forget that people like to see who's who listening to. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this right here. And tomorrow I'll take it apart. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring the little camera out and do a take apart video and show how it looks once I'm done. Oh yeah, I'll have to sand it. It won't be. Uh, well, I could just hand sand it a little bit, but it won't be. Those big bumps that are in it from those nails that didn't work out so well. Split it a little bit. They're gonna, that's a mistake. They're gonna um, need to be well sanded to get them down. We'll see. Alright. But that's something I can't put up with until I get, I ordered another one and I'm gonna have to use the other one and just put this one back close, back up. When I get the other one, unless I hate it or something. But, uh, uh, I have to keep using this. I mean, I have to go without it tonight. I don't know how I'm going to eat. I've, I've had to eat without it for all these years. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, now I can look towards the camera at least. I guess I have to get down here, though. But, uh, yeah, surprisingly, it, bamboo, uh, bamboo stands up well to water. And this is mal uh, malamine. This whiteboard, it's kind of, I think it's like that stuff that you buy in Fort Bay Chiefs to put in your bathroom walls. It used to be popular back in the 80s and said late 70s and the 80s. You can still get it, but uh, I don't think they use plastic more now. But uh, I think it's masonite on the inside with a white coating on it that's pretty tough to water stands up because I, I wash the top side of this every day after I eat, you know, to keep it clean. And uh, it hasn't ever you know, bowled up, done anything like particle board does or any of that stuff. Even wood would, wouldn't. You know, nice wood, ochre, ash, or anything would, 
you know, mahogany, none of that would stand up to getting washed every day like this has. So I'd say that's actually okay. These things get too loose, and they'll fold up on you. They're tighter now. I don't know if they're going to stay tight. They probably won't for long. But they're hinges. I mean, they're, they're rivets. You can't tighten them up. They're not nuts and bolts. And I didn't ever want to, you know, take it all, drill them out and put nuts and bolts in it. Uh, but that's a good thing and a bad thing because once they start getting loose, you know, and, and it'll, so if you're not careful with it, you got a tray full of food, go set it down and one of the legs will fold up and it'll, boop, you know, and dump your food out. So you got to really be careful with it. That's one thing I am. But this here is good to have a brace there, but that will fold up on you when you're carrying it. And you got your hand in there and it will pinch the living crap out of you, especially when the leg falls while you're holding on to it. So, uh, they have their pros and cons, but it has been very useful. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go around and turn off the camera and I'm done. Alright, thanks, bye. This is Dawn. Bye-bye. I think I just hit the focus.